Welcome to Lines on Design. I am filling in for Debbie today. She cannot be here. And we are at Endangered Arts in this beautiful gallery in South Island Square talking about sculpture and painting. Yes, today, every week, every time we do the Lines on Design, we're uh, focusing on a particular artist. And today, we're going to focus on Joseph Quillen. Several reasons. One, it's turtle season. It is turtle season. Yeah, and he has little bitty turtles to big turtles. So anything turtle, this is the place to come. Because, uh, you know, everybody loves turtles and they want to be part of it. If you have not seen one, this is the place to come to actually have one in your house. Well, yes. And turtles are very special in the low country and we try to take very good care of our turtles. And we can talk a little bit more about the actual turtles. I want to know how he makes these bronze sculptures. Oh, yeah, everything, thank you for bringing that up. Everything you see here is made out of bronze. People think they're stone, but they're, the different colors you can get putting different chemicals. It's a procedure that they do. It so that's not painted or no. like built with a, a kiln. It's not fired nope. and glazed. It's nope. chemically it's, it's treated. It's chemically treated, depending on the type of chemical that he puts on there and then he heats it makes the metal react so I mean you get so many different colors and you know and every one is hand done and I, what blows my mind is the the vibrancy of, of the, the colors. colors yeah you can really see this on tequila mm -hmm. um, the frog is just like yeah people think they're painted but they're not they're actually so what he would do on this while he was doing one chemical this would be covered Okay, so, so he would protect the spot that he didn't want exactly. treated. Exactly. So. And I just love how everything's in different sizes. I yes. mean, you can come in, you can get this cute little countertop piece, yes. or you can get something yeah. grand. It really makes a statement in your house. So that's, that's one reason we wanted to focus on him today is because I want people to know that we have a big price range. I mean, these little pieces are great for like a housewarming or just mm -hmm. a thank you gift. You know what's coming up that it would make a great gift for is all the, the college graduations. Exactly. Because it is a little something, but it's a special something. It is. And they all come with their papers. They're all named. Like this one is really cute. This is Palmer. Oh. So uh, they're all named. So they come with their paperwork. You don't have to feed them. So, uh, <laughs> you don't have to feed him. So it's just, it, he's really special. He's been with us for years. He started out with us. So he's a special artist Palmer for us. did? Pa <laughs> yeah, Palmer did. Yeah, Joseph Quillen, and, and he's not only a great sculptor, he loves these things. I mean, he's been here before, and he was blown away by how people love the environment here because he's really into this. Okay. I mean, this is his thing. I mean, he's... Um, he protects them, he wants us to protect them, and he said Hilton Head is just a great ambassador for the loggerheads, which we are. I was so. just, we are. So why don't you take a minute and just explain how, what lengths we go to to protect our little turtles. Well, May 1st started turtle season, and it goes through October, and I've heard, I have to talk to Amber, but there's already been one nest. Okay. So, um, I haven't, you know, I'm not sure, but anyway. As soon as she lays, 45 to 50 days later, is when the babies start coming out. So from now till October is turtle season. And we, we do protect them. One of the main things is don't turn your lights on. Don't go out on the beach with flashlights. We don't, they were here a long time before we were. So don't, you know, just protect them, respect them. And, um, you know, and the, the reason to avoid the flashlights and the lights on your house is because when the turtles hatch, they head to the ocean guided by moonlight. So if there is other light, they get confused and they may end up going away from the ocean exactly. towards the houses. So it's lights out and it's fill in your holes on exactly. the beach. If your little ones are digging in the sand, yeah. you got to fill those holes in because yeah. those hatchlings are not going to be They're able not. to get out of the holes. And that's why it's so neat for us to have the products that we do because I, during turtle season, I not only sell them, but I do, you know, I, I'm a big fan of these turtles. You are so passionate I about that. I am. I'm them. passionate about it. I, was, I worked with the turtle project a long time ago. So, I mean, to have these come here on this island is huge. So. This is a big part of it. So, you know, come in and see what, you know, we have. 
there's so many different things, like you said earlier, the small and then the large pieces. So we pretty much have something for everybody. You do. And, yes. and it's just beautiful. So we're going to go from sculpture to print. Exactly. This is Philip Anthony. Um, he's known as a black and white artist, but he has ventured out a little bit. He does some color. I saw that. So I've been in the gallery quite a few times, and I'm drawn to Philip Anthony. His work, it, it blows my mind that oh. this is all black and white, and I saw some yep. color, and yeah. I went, what? He is our youngest artist, and we feel so blessed to have him here because, like you said, when he comes here to do shows, he paints in black and white, two yeah. colors. Two colors. Yeah, <laughs> and to, to create this and to get this effect with just two colors is amazing. So, it, it is. It's the, the talent is beyond measure. It is. So we, um, you can see, and he's pretty diverse at what he does. He loves to do the sea life, this is actually, this looks like Hilton Head to me, but he also does a mountain scene. So okay. he's got different images, but basically when you see a Philip Anthony, you kind of know it's him. You do. Because he's got that look and he's got that um, flair that only he has doing black and white. And so. one of the things I love about the black and whites, well, I, I'm drawn to black and white photography, have been exactly. for years. So to see that kind of reflection of photography into the art. But I also think that you can put one of these prints anywhere, anywhere. in your house. Any decor. Yes. And that's a good point because, you know, I have people that hang Phillips in their home and it doesn't matter what else they have, this works. This it, goes it, with it. And I can so. I can see that, yeah. how it would work. So if you're talking an office or a living room exactly. or a kitchen or anywhere, even in like a, a beach room right. it's it's gonna work it's gonna a pool work. house it's gonna work it's gonna work so <laughs> and you said something he loves it when people think this is a black and white photo that's the ultimate compliment for him okay but they're not and he no. you know but they're paintings but he loves people to say that about his work because i mean it looks like a photo it does so. it, the detail is yeah. amazing and to see him paint yeah is just it is he will be here in october will he's, he for the yeah, big show for the big show in october so he's already you know said that he would be here and it's so much fun to watch him paint while he's here because he's talking and the music's going and he's just painting and we're like it's it's pretty special he's when they come got you know his black and his white and and you did say he's starting to shift into some colors he is. yeah lots we'll, of blues yeah we'll show you a couple of pieces so yeah he's venturing out into color and they're doing well and they're, they're beautiful they're, they really and they are. also look like photographs. Exactly. Let's go take a look at some of his new paintings that are done in color. Yeah, that'll be good because this is really something new for him, but they're doing very well. Uh, and like you said, a lot of it's the blues. The blues. The blues. And that's what, you know, the black and whites are great. I love them, but blue's my other go-to color. It yeah. pops. And look at this one. I mean, it just, um, it looks like the sunrises we have on Hilton It does. Head. So, yeah, and, and then he did the Venice. Oh, in Venice. Yeah. So he And he, that's like sepia tone. It is. So he's doing he's doing a little bit of different things and it's people love it. They still go back to his black and white because that's what he's known right. for. Right. And he will never not not do that. He will always do that. So this is a piece that's really special. This is something that he actually saw when he was here. Okay. Because he thinks the uh, sand dunes and the beach, you know, how when the sand blows. So a lot of things, when he's here, he'll go out and photograph our beaches, and then he'll go back and paint them. And he's on the West Coast. He was. Now oh. he's in Florida. Okay, yeah, so he's so, closer now. Yeah, he's closer now, and so like, like I said, he's going to be here in October with the other artists. But then, you know, you have these that he's, the colors are kind of muted, mm -hmm. but they just pop. They do. And these, again, will work in any decor. And one thing that you need to keep in mind, if you see a piece that you don't know if it'll work or not, we bring it out and we'll let you look at it. That's one of the great things yep. about you guys. They'll hang it up and if you go, oh yeah, that's not the right one, they'll take it back and... We'll take it back and bring something else. And then if you do like it, we'll hang it up for you. So, There's a story about this one. Yeah, that we had a lady come in and she loved this, but she loved his black and white, so he printed in black and white for her. <laughs> so so you know, accommodating. accommodating. And we are too. 
we, uh, we want you to be happy. We want you to love your art, look at it every day, and say, gosh, I got it from there. I'm going to tell my friends, because word of mouth is huge for us. Well, so. you can come get all this art and more at Endangered Arts in South Island Square. Julie, thank you so much. Oh, thank you much. for doing this.